When half and whole step patterns change with string crossings, it's worth practicing the finger pattern alone, just on one string. You'll have to bear with me, this is essentially a little transposition exercise. I'm going to take a small segment that uses two strings and practice the finger pattern on one string. Let's keep working with the passage we were just dealing with, but concentrate on only two beats of it. So the finger pattern of the original couple of beats now becomes this when I transpose all fingers to the same string. Okay, so the original bar, the couple of beats that we're dealing with is E first finger, at low two, F, open, three. I'm gonna put all those notes on the A string, but I'm keeping the finger pattern. So regular one, low two, which is C, open, and three. The other four notes were already on the A string, so we don't have to worry about that. We keep them. Okay, so here's the original. And here's my practice version. A little faster. So when I go back to my original, just have a better sense of what I need to do in terms of finger pattern, the fact that I'm playing both with a low two and a high two. Let's look at another example. By the way, you can pick whatever string you want. I just happen to pick the A string today for all my notes. We'll concentrate on this bar. So these notes now become these notes in my transposition exercise. Let me play both versions for you. Here's the original, slowly. Okay, so I have starting 01, 01, high two, three, open, and then low one, two, three, two, three, low four, high one, which now becomes B natural, low two, three, and low four. It's going to sound like this. Faster. Etc. Etc. You just work it up to speed, have a better understanding, and then go back to the original and see if it makes a difference for you. So this drill makes you more aware of what the left hand needs to do in terms of finger pattern without the challenge of crossing strings. In other words, it's simplifying, which is always good in the practice room.